how to add multiple languages to your wix website hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i will show you all you need to do in order to add multiple different languages or at least two uh, languages for your site so this is going to be uh easy to set up with an app there's another way to do it which is going to be a manual type of labor so you're going to have to duplicate each and every single page on your website and literally just translate everything yourself so obviously you don't want to go through that and it's going to take a lot of time and then you would want to even set up the menu to be different for each page so if it's an english page you want to set up the menu to be showcasing the other english pages if it's uh, let's say arabic then you would want to also set up the arabic pages to showcase other pages in there so it's going to be a it's, you know it's not going to be a fun process it's going to take a lot of time and it's going to be extremely difficult so instead the other option here or the uh, alternative to that is that you would need to install an app which is going to help you with that uh, it does have a free version to it but i guess at some point you will need to upgrade to have more access for things so this is how it is for the time being so in order to set up this app you basically want to open up your wix editor or website editor just go to the home page within your dashboard click on design or edit site and this should open up your editor here and you can see this is going to be an english site as you can see this is only a template that i chose this is not my design by the way i got to this template from wix itself and basically what we're going to do is just go to add apps from the left panel here and click on that this is going to allow us to open up the app market and we are just basically going to search for multilingual and this is going to open up uh you know different apps that are going to help you with this um task so i'm just going to go for wix multilingual this is going to be the one i tested uh, personally and it does actually work and you know up until you uh, want to, to actually upgrade so it's going to be for free uh, i'm not sure exactly for how long or for what type of uh use it's going to be for free but then at, yeah this this is what it is so 3000 free word credits to auto translate your content but then you're going to obviously need to upgrade for more so this is how it is right now so click on add to site and once it's added it's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to add things here for us for our site and it's going to take us back to the dashboard of our wix site so uh, what i prefer to do is just go ahead and close this and then once this is closed we can also uh, turn you know close the editor as well we can go back to our uh dashboard here and by the way if you have noticed it does say wix studio on the top left but i assure you this is going to be for the default wix site not for wix studio so if you scroll down and go to website content within website content you should be able to find multilingual click on that and this should start the uh, setup process here for us communicate with your visitors around the world translate in a click with a machine translation or do it manually uh, and also you know obviously multilingual means you're you're boosting your traffic so click on start now to start the setup and it's now go to, going to detect your site's main language so is english your site's main language this is the language users will see uh, by default on your site and you won't be able to change it afterwards so just make sure you uh set it as the main language if it's not english just click on no i want to change it and make sure you set that up it's very much the language that already exists on your site this is the main language so click on set main language if it's the one and then here you're going to set up a flag that represents your english site so uh we're obviously going to go for united kingdom here <laughs> and then we are just going to click on select flag and yeah confirm main language and we're good to go okay so once this is done we have set up our main language now we obviously want to set up the uh new languages that we want to add so additional languages here we have zero for the time being we basically just want to click on add language this is going to allow us to select the different languages that we want to implement i'm going to go for arabic because i know how to speak arabic as well and we can set up a flag for it so i'm just going to go for the first one at the top just so no one gets upset here so it just happens to be the first one which is egypt 
and how do you want to start translating whether it's going to be a manual translation which is going to be for free or machine translation which is going to be five if not five three thousand words for free is that it's actually five I'm, I'm going blind so it says five here but it says three in the description so i'm not sure i'm just going to go for machine translation here and then make site in arabic visible right away whether yes or no it's up to you i'm just going to do yes and click on add language this is actually going to take some time and it's going to start translating uh, the site automatically or you know some of it now it's back to 3000 words i'm not sure if they're confused or i'm confused to be honest but it's going to basically translate the um, english site to arabic with the machine learning um, translation here so basically it didn't take too long i just clicked on it i clicked on edit translations and then went back and it says that it is complete so let's just go ahead and find what's happening let's just go to our site and see if it works or not and by the way you can feel free to add another language which i'm going to showcase uh, if you just go to site and mobile app here click on design site so right now uh with the design site it's on english so let's just click on preview and change that uh, even though the flag is not shown anyways i'm just going to go for arabic oh you can actually see it on the top left and yeah you can actually see the uh text within the actual page itself the menu is not going to change but the text within the page does actually change to arabic and it's you know looking like the entire thing changed to Arabic, even the email, which is not good. So obviously you can feel free to, even here it says Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh, I believe this is Twitter, which is translated in Arabic, which we don't want. So yeah, most of the time it's going to get things right. It's going to look um, exactly how you would want it to be. But on the other hand, it also sometimes translates things that it really shouldn't. So you can always just adjust these uh, incons inconsistencies. Even when it comes to here, you can see the, um, I believe this was the name of the author or the name of the site. It does translate that as well. And you don't really want that. So we can always just go ahead and go back to editor. And in fact, we actually want to go back to the dashboard, not to the editor. And simply what you need to do is just go ahead and go to website content, multilingual, and click on the language that you want to adjust. So click on edit translations. This is not going to showcase if you have, you know, done um, the machine translation. It's not going to showcase anything here for you to adjust. So what we're going to do is just click on go to editor, but this time it's actually going to take us to the Arabic section and we're going to be able to adjust it. So click on go to editor. And this is going to open up the site in Arabic and we can feel free to adjust what we want to, you know, to say what we wanted to say instead of what it has already. Yep, so it just loaded in and now it loads in one more time and you can actually see now editing in Arabic. So you would want to go ahead and click on the text that you want to change and do it. So for example, let's just go back here, change Facebook. It's even a button. So I'm just going to change this to Facebook. Instead of, you know, say, saying it in Arabic, same here for LinkedIn. I'm just going to click on edit translation and then just do LinkedIn. And then we can also do the same thing for Twitter, just edit translation and do Twitter. Same goes for normal text. So here you just click on any text that you want and click on edit translation and you can feel free to change that. So the email address, obviously, you would want to revert it back to English letters or Latin letters, and we're good to go. Once this is done, we just want to click on save and publish, and we're good to go. This is pretty much how it works when it comes to the translations. And this is only for the Arabic section, so we can always just go back and add more languages if you want to. So we can just, okay, we can uh, move this aside. And by the way, I just want to see something here. We can obviously move this, but can we make it so that it looks different if you click on this i believe you can actually click on design here yeah and we can actually change the different types of uh language switchers that we have here so i'm just going to select this one it looks better for me and click on save one more time and feel free to exit and we're pretty much good to go so now we can just always go back to multilingual uh, from the dashboard and click on add language this time we're just going to add spanish and we are going to add the flag of Spain. 
and then for the manual translation we can't really do anything else for the machine one because i don't have any word credits so we are just going to do manual translation click on uh, add language and we're going to make it so that it is visible right away click on add language and then again you just want to click on edit translations and it's going to be precisely the same way you want to just try to set everything up to become spanish so we're just going to do that uh, actually i don't really know how to speak spanish so i'm not going to be able to but you get the idea so you, you just want to, to click on anything and change it so for example with this you want to click on it and change it and this is going to basically change for the rest of them and once you're done you can always just click on save and it should actually pop up on your um your site so if we just go back to site it's going to have three different languages now instead of two so we can always see that as well so we click on english go to arabic this is going to switch to arabic and for spanish is going to also switch to uh, spanish which we did not translate anything so it's not really going to do much but yeah this is pretty much for this video hopefully you find it to be informative and helpful interesting how this does switch to spanish at the top here if you have noticed which is quite nice i guess you know sometimes it does change stuff for you automatically either way but anyways hopefully you found this video to be informative and helpful and thanks for watching